Well, doctors, overprescribing painkillers is a growing problem in Indiana. Last year, Attorney General Greg Zeller went after 140 medical licenses for overprescribing. In News 18's Kayla Sullivan looked into his challenges and what local hospitals are doing to make sure doctors are prescribing to the right patients. Before the heroin epidemic, pain was treated as the fifth vital sign, but now doctors think of pain a bit differently. We still manage and uh, treat pain. It's still very important, but we recognize there's a time and place for opioids, so um, we do a lot more evaluation and assessment. If you want some pain meds, it's a process. Most um, practices and um, facilities are doing like a urine drug screen and just, you know, making sure that if they're prescribed an opioid that they're actually taking it and they're not selling it. They even make you sign an agreement now. We also specify that they have to be seen every four months at a minimum face to face so we can do the proper evaluation and assessments to be sure that they are taking it appropriately. Indiana Attorney General Greg Zeller says most doctors are following procedure, but there are still some overprescribing to the extreme. You know, the most recent one, um, it was over 150 prescriptions a day. Uh, so there's literally not enough hours of the day to have written that many after seeing a patient and making sure that you've checked inspect, making sure that it's safe. He says he's doing all he can to stop those overprescribing doctors, but worries what might happen when addicts can't get their painkillers anymore. It's the good news, there will be fewer people entering the stages of addiction. The bad news, when we cut off uh, the prescription drugs, people turn to heroin. He hopes with the help of federal government, the country can create more addiction services. Kayla Sullivan, News 18.